This is Amy Bacon with Spirit Pathways, and I'm here with this week's reading. This is for today, Monday, February 13th, through this coming Sunday, February 19th, 2017. I observed and I felt a noticeable difference last week as the energy lifted and people became more positive. This shift occurred thanks to Jupiter and Friday night's full moon lunar eclipse that has given us a lighter, fresher environment to revitalize our viewpoints. And if you haven't felt this positive shift, you can get into alignment by saying yes to life and see how life suddenly starts working for you rather than against you. The quickest way to do this is to not bring all of the drama around you into your heart. Those circumstances are not you, but we often feel the need to embrace the stories and seek solutions. Instead, try to step back and simply observe any drama in your environment. Let it go past you. Don't reach out and grab it and examine it and explain it. Just observe it. Don't engage with it and don't judge it. Practice allowing all that drama to move past you like traffic or a train on a track. Just let it flow in its own direction. This will keep your ego out of it. And this will allow divine flow. And divine outcomes are always blessed and magical. They cannot be manipulated or controlled into being. Divine outcomes are the result of trust and allowing. And I know that's hard for some people. <laughs> But if you're going to practice anything, just let go, trust, and allow. And the positive shift last week is largely due to Jupiter being retrograde. She went retrograde February 5th, and she will go direct on June 9th. So from now until June 9th, embrace this good energy by picking one or more priorities in your life and allow Jupiter to bestow her blessings upon you. Jupiter retrograde is in Libra, which is aligning harmony and balance and fair justice. By sticking to your integrity, you're going to allow your highest good, and you're ready to confidently move forward in your priority areas. You can feel that pull of those wonderful ideas you keep having. Go ahead and act on those ideas. Follow that flow. Follow all those epiphanies you're getting because Jupiter is going to break free, break free anything that's blocking your path. Pay attention and release to her any patterns of self-sabotage or stuff you keep dredging up from the past. Those things from the past, they aren't a part of your life now. And they are not a part of your future. So let them go. Pay attention to the new ideas that excite you. Follow the flow of abundant new experiences. And place your focus only on the ideas and the things that bring the highest potentials of, those, of your priority areas into your life. This is an exciting time. Embrace the yes moments that bring you happiness, joy, contentment, all the things, well-being, inner peace. It's all there for you. Use this energy now. Get out of the drama. Leave your ego. Just let it aside and trust and allow. So, we've got our reading for this week, and we're using Angel Tarot Cards by Doreen Virtue and Radley Valentine. And let's see what we got this week. Oh, I love that. 
Three, two, three. I'm going to explain each one of these and give you a complete reading for the week and how you can use this energy to your best advantage. And all the stuff I talk about in the beginning that's flowing from spirit, it's giving you very useful tools and information to use this week, to pull from last week. You, you know, We're still under the full moon lunar eclipse energy. So if you go back and watch last week's video, just listen to the beginning of it, you will get better understanding of how this energy is affecting us. So, three, two, three. Threes are expansion, and two is bringing things to you. So let's see what these cards say. We've got the three of fire. <laughs> I love it. <clears throat> We're starting out with abundance. And things look very good. Have patience and make those long-term plans. This is the card for me of embarking on your journey. And I love this little girl. She's sitting here with her precious dragon, and she's looking out over all this turmoil. But she's making plans. She's figuring out how she's going to move forward. And there's a little butterfly there flitting above everything to remind you everything's calm and it's okay. Those emotions are about the drama. So that's not where you need to engage. Three is expansion. Fire is taking action. So allow this abundance. Recognize where things are looking good in your life. Have patience with, you know, the linear time of things that you feel are taking too long. And think about what you're creating, especially between now and June 9th. Put into place those things that you're really, really excited about. Those things that are building opportunity in your life. And the two of air, two is bringing things to you. Air is thought and knowledge. <laughs> this is the card of you need to make a choice. You need to choose between things. And you, you don't want to do this. You're sort of you know, putting on a blindfold to this. But once you go ahead and choose, the blindfold falls away and you have clarity and you have direction. So go ahead and make the decision. Don't procrastinate. Don't be in denial. <laughs> All those things that keep you from paying attention to what it is you need to address. This card says you've got the knowledge. You're okay. You're on steady, stable ground. So make your decision and then you'll feel better. The putting off making a decision just increases it and makes it more uncomfortable. And that's completely unnecessary. So we have more expansion here with the three of water. Water is emotions. This is the card of go out and have fun with your friends. Enjoy being together with people that you appreciate. And it's also celebrations and, you know, being invited to parties and, you know, announcements that are very positive. So a lovely energy to carry you along to enhance and increase the lightness, the freshness of this Jupiter energy that we are in right now. So I love that. Have fun with friends. That's another way of nurturing yourself and taking care of yourself. There's nothing better than laughter. <laughs> Just laugh and relax and have fun. This nine of fire. So after you get back from that party, you're going to realize that you've been, you know, working at things a long time. And you've been, you know, nine is culmination. It's everything that had happened before led you to where you are now. But it's also um, nine is energy that you're in charge of because you've got the wisdom and the knowledge and the experience to make the decisions that are best for you. Fire says take action on this. So stand up for your beliefs Protect what you've been creating. In those priority areas that I was talking about, where, you know, pick the priority areas where, and allow Jupiter to, to bestow blessings on you, those are areas you've already been working on. Those are things and ideas that you've already been developing. 
So this says protect it, don't give up, have courage, believe in yourself, and keep working at it. Allow this lighter energy to shift you to where those things are more effective and the outcomes that you get are more in alignment with what you want to experience. And the page of earth, page is a messenger to tell you that you're going to be okay with money. Money is coming. The things that you're doing right now are setting in place money growth for you. And allow yourself to expand into things that are more interesting for you. Things that are more challenging and more satisfying. And, you know, you can't wait to get up and get going on that. And this can also be a new area of study. So take classes and read books and watch videos and expand your knowledge on all the things that are just, just so interesting to you. There's a lot of great momentum in that. You're scholarly, you're smart, you're dependable, you're patient, and you're successful. And allowing these attributes to help you this week, to help you create that abundance that that builds and builds. Abundance that's growing for you. And the king of air, ah, oh, kings are outcomes and air is knowledge and, you know, um, intellect. You are brilliant, impartial, professional, and diplomatic. Beautiful diplomatic Libra. So speak your mind with confidence. If you need more information, Ask someone who has that information. Seek out that professional advice. A balance, again, more Libra energy here for you, the Jupiter retrograde in Libra, mental and emotional balance. Don't get stuck too much in your mind, and don't get stuck too much in your heart. You need a balance between the two, and the King of Air is going to help you with that. And it's going to give you positive outcomes in your areas of confidence, in your areas. This is bringing to be all those great ideas that you've been having, putting your knowledge to use, thoughtful solutions. And then the Two of Fire, more of bringing things to you. This is a lovely reminder you've come into your own you've got new people to help you you've got new business opportunities you're moving ahead you're moving forward and just continue with that momentum because you're you know you're going to ride the wave a little bit here you're picking your priority areas you're allowing Beautiful divine outcomes. You're not getting, you know, involved in things that, that don't belong to you. You're not analyzing and you're not embracing drama. So then you get the reward of this two of fire card coming into your own. That's confidence again. That's people to help you. That's those contracts you've been waiting for. And it's forward momentum. So a lovely, lovely alignment to help you this week keep on your path. You've got starting the week with action. Then the Eight of Earth. This is doing your job well. Skilled work is rewarded. Learning all there is to know about a topic. The page of Earth above said, you know, what do you want to study? What do you want to learn about? And the Eight of Earth says, whatever it is, you're going to do well with it. You know, you're going to have success learning all there is to know and, you know, getting the education you need, taking the workshops you need, reading the book you need. You don't have to literally go back to school, but they do want you to pursue your passions and your interests because that's where your success lies. You cannot make yourself successful in something that you're not interested in. It's just not going to work. The passion is where the flow is. Those things that you are so excited about, that's where you get your success and your greatest happiness. So the Eight of Earth is reminding you that you're going to be rewarded for this. Very nice energy. And then we end the reading and we end the week with release. Release is also rebirth. 
So ask Archangel Az Azrael to help you with this. And 13 is a 4, so it's about doing the work. And it says to recognize that you are at the end of a phase. You're at the end of a situation and you are so ready for your spiritual transformation. Don't keep holding it off. Don't keep wallowing in old energy. Allow Jupiter to just bulldoze that out of your life. Let go of that baggage. Don't keep self-sabotaging yourself by going back to the past by expecting things that didn't work out before to repeat themselves because that's not the energy of what's going to happen. This is new energy. You are not the person that you were before and the circumstances are different. So allow that to be a helper for you. Allow that to assist you to move forward. You know, um, this is shedding the old skin, and that old skin shuffles off because you don't need it anymore. You've outgrown it, and you're ready for the shiny, new, healthy, abundant being that you are. This is moving forward. This is rebirth, transformation, powerful energy here. So release anything that's no longer serving you. And be kind to yourself in this process. I always notice the mommy horse and the little baby colt over here. This is nurturing love. And all these white flowers, that's purity and peace and new beginnings and moving forward in safety and protection. So it's okay. And this beautiful swirl here, this is divine connection. You are divinely protected. And by divine order, your happiest, most joy-filled life is already in alignment. All you have to do is say yes to it and allow it. So there we go for the energy of this week. I would love to help you specifically with your life, with what's going on in your environment and your world. I do this, I tap into your energy, I call in what I call your counsel, which is your spirit guides and angels and loved ones. And, you know, I share with you everything they have for you. They will give you all the clarity, all the understanding, all the knowledge that you need to move forward with confidence, to balance your energy, to get you into alignment with your soul blueprint of your life. It's all good. So all the information for readings is on my website, which is spiritpathways.net. Get in touch with me. Let's schedule a reading for you today so you can get on with your life, so you can embrace this energy for your highest potential. Have a wonderful week, and I will see you next week. Bye-bye.